Hi fellow traders, I'm going to do a quick recap from yesterday. Um, didn't get a chance to do it last night. Um, after the class, I was kind of losing my voice. So I tried to give it a rest, but you know, still kind of dealing with the same thing. The pollen is falling. It's that time of year. So, you know, it's going to get that way for me. Um, but just to go over what happened yesterday real quick, LB <clears throat> was one of those, you know, I patented gap down stocks on earnings. Um, and going into the open, I patented sell off, you know, which, you know, I really need to figure out how to capture these moves and fall within my risk tolerance. Um, I believe I can do it. I used to do it. Um, you know, in the summertime. So it's just a matter of adding this back. But <clears throat> um, very nice opening range trade. Um, got it in. Got my first uh, target here. And my final target was down here. But when I was going to put in my stop, my mouse, I've got a real sensitive mouse and I was going to click buy to um <clears throat> put my buy stop in and it flipped back to market and ended up marketing me out instead of you know me starting a, a stop order and what turned out to be a good thing because the next candle we ran back up and I would have been stopped out at break even on this so once we came back showed the rejection i got short again covered here and when we you know the momentum started to shift i covered again and tried you know to get short here and ended up getting stopped out and this erased everything that i did these two beautiful trades <clears throat> this one stop erased and this is something that I, I have to work on. You know, I try not to change my mentality. Even if I know I'm up, I don't want to trade more conservatively and then miss a, a good move. But it, you know, lately it seems like it's kind of backfiring on me and I'm actually giving back too much and not looking at my P&L. You know, I can't really see that. And, you know, I don't want to go back to watching my P&L every day. I just have to have a little bit better management, you know, once I'm, I'm in the money. And, you know, don't want to give it back on all on one trade. And that's pretty much what happened here. And, you know, just kind of worked it through here. Um, another stop out here. And then finally, you know, I was like, look, that. The strategy I, I trade here is the all-day fade. You know, we get in, set your stop, <clears throat> and just let it work. <clears throat> You're already, you know, pretty much at ground zero again. Let's get in the trade and let it work. And that's what we did. Um, got in, you know, it worked beautifully. You just get in looking for the fade. If you make a higher high, the trend breaks and you're out. Um, but most of these stocks will not make a higher high. They'll continue to come down. They'll come back and test this level, but they'll continue to sell off. And that's what we did. So, you know, turn this back around and ended up with two, you know, $240 profit on this. So not, not bad. I feel pretty good about the turnaround on this. I know what I need to fix, you know, going forward. And and that's the main thing here. Um, PTLA was, you know, I got short here because we were rejecting. Thought we were going to get a more sustained move down. You know, we we're making a lower low. We were under the 200, the VWAP, the 20, the 9. There's no way anybody could logically think we're going to push through all of this 
resistance. Um, so I got in and got a little move down, but I was looking for it to break through this in order to take profit. But it didn't. We turned around and came back and I had to stop out. Um, so I managed this one as, as well as I could have. I wasn't going to stop and take you know, a shorter gain <clears throat> just because, you know, this was just one candle and it just proved to, to not work. So I'm, I'm okay with this one. And it put us in our day trading account, um, negative 87.51 for the day. Um, <clears throat> even though it was red here in the day trading account, that it wasn't a bad day because I feel that I managed all of the trades as well as I could manage them. Um, there is some tweaking that I'm going to have to do um, going forward, but as far as me sticking to my plan, my goals, you know, everything worked out fine. Um, so the swing trade, uh, OLED, you know, I've been holding this for a couple of days. That's the wrong chart. I got the wrong chart on here, but it um hit my first target here but you can see we we locked in 536.90 on the first cover and this morning is gapping down very beautifully we've got down below this target here so we may end up hitting this level here today which is just around 120 so because it's already gapped down below my target this morning I'm going to wait and see just how far we can get. You know, unless it starts to bounce before I open up, I'll, I'll take my target, you know, and go on about my business. But, you know, this is a, exciting here, you know, with it gapping down. This is what I've been waiting for. So we're going to keep that going. Um, SCG, this is the other swing. I thought we were making some progress down. <clears throat> but we ended the day coming back up and closing right about where we opened. So, um, you know, this thing is throwing some mixed signals here. I really believe this should be going. So this is telling me that we've got some institutional people, you know, sitting here manipulating this. Um, I don't know if there's something that's just not right. The last time we did this, we had this huge gap up. So, you know, absolutely I'm concerned right now. So I'm going to give it today. I don't think I'm going to let this run over the weekend. And we'll see how today pans out. But, you know, I'm going to have, I may have to make some hard decisions on it today. So we'll, we'll see what happens. But that was my day yesterday. Um, we had a great first of starting and building a small account class it was typical of the first day in class you have with a new teacher the first day of school um the law is going to get laid down the expectations are going to get laid down and i appreciate you guys who um did this assignment got it turned in you know that shows the level of commitment that you have and you know, that's one of the first things that you're going to have to to make sure that you have that level of commitment. No, you know, you're not getting a grade on it, but doing this, this assignment is going to help you with these small steps that we need to make. And so I really appreciate you guys doing that. I can't wait to go through them this weekend. Um, I'm, I'm excited to go through them. So. Just wanted to um, tell you guys thanks. So that's going to do it for me. I'm ready to get in the room here and build our watch list. But I didn't want to run these two days together just in case, you know, we had a long, tedious day today. So take it easy. Have a great trading day. And I will see you guys later on.